Well, we are joined now by fashion lecturer and historian Amber Butchka. Good to see you Thanks this morning. Now, you are looking amazing. Oh, thank you. Did it take you long to decide on that outfit? Well, I actually decided last night, ah. which I think is quite a good, a good key if you're a bit concerned about how much time you've got in the morning. And also when you get up in the morning and it's very early, you know, you just want to sort of jump, you know, crack on, put jumpers on, mm. things like that. So it's good to sort of sort it out the night before. Do I you think. do that really most days? Um, yeah. If I have to be up early, I will always decide the night before. Definitely. So do you vary your look then? Velvet turban one day, yeah. something else the next? I, t I tend to vary what I'm wearing, but it, then again, my job oh, is yeah. sort of concerned with thinking about fashion, thinking about why people wear the clothes that they do. Um, so I have quite, I guess, maybe a slightly more extravagant approach mm, to dress sure. than most people. Are you surprised in, the, 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 in this, this, this research that we did, 80%? of the people who took part in the poll said that they would prefer to have a uniform of some sort because it would take the stress out of getting ready? Well, no, it's, I don't think it's that surprising, really, because it is, you know, I know that I'm unusual in terms of my, my job. Not everybody wants to be thinking about their outfits kind of all day yeah. and what items work together. Or has it, the time to. Mm. Exactly, exactly. So it does cut out that time and stress factor as well. Once you find a sort of silhouette that works for you, it does make sense to replicate that. You can build an entire capsule That's wardrobe around word. it.